You can start whenever because we'll crop it. Hello Deadly Discoverers. Today we are having a quick chat to you guys about parthenogenesis, which probably sounds very random to a lot of you because it's a big word that we've used. But recently we have experienced parthenogenesis for ourselves at Discover Deadly. So parthenogenesis, what exactly is it? It is essentially reproduction without intercourse. So it comes from the root of two Greek words, so parthenos meaning virgin and genesis meaning origin. So it translates pretty much into virgin birth. And we've had a virgin birth from Timber, our king skink. So Timber is in our lovely skink pit outside, special lizard pit. And Timber has been with us for a very long time, since about 2017. So from 2017 onwards, she's had no interaction with any male skinks whatsoever, any male king skinks. So this little baby is quite special that she's had. So how does it exactly work though, parthenogenesis? Well, I'm not gonna go into every detail because I'm not a scientist and I would be on this video talking for hours, but to put it very simply, it is a sexual reproduction that involves uh, usually an egg cell and a sperm cell. Um, and both of those, they provide about half the genetic information required to create a living organism. But somehow the female has found a way or her body's found a way to fill in that uh, the genetic code essentially on her own. To we just create. don't need the males. We just don't <laughs> need the males, that's right. So there are actually quite a lot of species who do uh, reproduce without any males at all. About 80 different types of reptiles, amphibians and fish. And in some of those cases, there is still a courtship behavior between females of the same species. And with all of those hormones flying all around, there's more of a chance to have more offspring if they do um, interact with each other in that way, which is really interesting. Um, so there's a really good episode um, that David Attenborough has done on his Natural Curiosities series so if you can find season two episode one he does go in a little bit about parthenogenesis which is really interesting um, but today we'll show you our little kingski who we have actually named genesis in here so she will be a direct copy genetically as her mother so it's almost like we've copied and pasted timber well, Timber has copied and pasted herself. <laughs> very tiny little thing, very fast. Very lively. Ooh. Very, very small. Oh, darling. You're okay. Come on. I have to get used to being cuddled. There we go. There's the little, little Genesis. <laughs> Our miracle baby. A whole one day old. Yeah, look at that. Got lovely little spots on your back. <laughs> You're not going anywhere, buddy. <laughs> so eventually, once Genesis grows up a little bit more, we'll be able to pop her in with mum and they can live together very happily in the little skink pit. So, very exciting stuff. Thank you very much for listening. We hope you can come and visit us soon and see little Genesis. But just remember that no snake is dangerous if you leave it alone. See you guys, thank you.